My guy Marlon Humphrey got high praise, but he got a little sneak this in the process. But let's see if it was warranted. Team, keep it clean. What's going on? Uh, I love y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on. Um, we, even though this is the slow season, it's a slow period of football, we still having a lot of fun over here. And I hope y'all are too. I appreciate y'all watching the videos. I appreciate y'all supporting the channel. I just appreciate everything that you all do, the love that y'all show on a daily basis, at literally every single day. I, I thank you all for that. And y'all keep doing what you've been doing. It it's, it's a very much appreciated, and it does not go unnoticed. And something else that didn't go unnoticed was somebody uh, throwing in a little shot. At our guy Marlon Humphrey I was looking on ESPN Plus And they did a uh, They compiled a list Y'all know it's list season uh, Of the top 10 cornerbacks Heading into this 2023 NFL season And just to get straight into it uh, Let's just get into the list Number one They got uh, Pat Sertan the second From the Denver Broncos he, when, when Pat Sertan first got drafted That gave me a realization of like Wow you, you are really getting old because I remember watching his father play for the Dolphins. It was Pat Sertan. It was uh, Brock Marion uh, for the Miami Dolphins. Who? There was another cornerback that they had, too. That was around when they had Chris Chambers at wide receiver and um, some other guys, too. But Jay, Jay Fela was a quarterback. Uh, I think Rick, that was when Ricky Williams was. Anyway, when I'm like, they, they really drafted his son. His son is in the NFL now. It, it was just it, it was crazy, man. But anyway. They got Pat Sertan a second from the Denver Broncos as number one. Uh, then getting number two, Sauce Gardner from the Jets. You know he was going to be super high on this list. He came out his rookie season. He had very high expectations after being a monster in Cincinnati in college. And, and then everything transferred to the NFL. Uh, so he lived up to expectations. Number three, Jalen Ramsey. Speaking of the other Miami Dolphins, Jalen Ramsey, uh, who is on his third NFL team. And he's been... Doing it, getting his bread. <laughs> you could call Jalen Ramsey a lot of things, but you can never call him broke. You can never call him not a businessman because that man has had success on the teams that he went to, individual success. Then he went to the Rams and had team success, and now he's on the Dolphins. Like he, he done done what he needed to do. He got a Super Bowl. He got a Super Bowl ring, and you can never take that away from him. No matter what happens to, from this point in his career on, he got a Super Bowl. So now it's just. Accolades from this point Unless he get another one Not with the Dolphins though Ravens gotta get the one this year Then after that You can worry about it later But anyway Number four uh, Jair Alexander From the Green Bay Packers And this is somebody <clears throat> I don't know what happened to my voice A lot of Ravens fans want, uh, Wanted the Ravens to trade for him Especially when there was like A lot of uncertainty At the cornerback position But anyway Jair Alexander Number five Is Darius Slay From the Philadelphia Eagles Now <clears throat> this is somebody who the Ravens almost traded for. They almost grabbed him. So <laughs> we remember that story, and that was uh, crazy. It, it seemed like it was just a little rumor going around, but it actually was true, and we heard it directly from Darius Slade. Now, number seven. Oh, no, excuse me, number six. Number five with Darius Slade. Number six is Marlon Humphrey. Um, Marlon Humphrey is going into this season ranked the sixth best corner in the NFL. Got no problem with that. Um, Marlon Humphrey, he's been doing his thing. I have continued to gain more and more respect uh, for Marlon Humphrey's game over the years, just how consistent he's been. Uh, yeah, he does have his hiccups here and there, uh, but everybody does, especially at the cornerback position. The cornerback is, uh, is a position, I remember Richard Sherman explained it beautifully. Um, he, he said it's a position where um, you could be playing a phenomenal game. You could be having a great game. Then all it takes is one or two plays. And fans and people will think you played horribly. If you give out one or two big plays, that, that's all that they'll remember. They won't, won't remember the good stuff, but they'll remember all the bad. And I was like, oh, yeah, that, that, that does make a lot of sense. But anyway, let's read the breakdown of how they ranked Marlon Humphrey and how they threw that little shot in at the end. Too. Anyway, it says uh, his highest ranking uh, was number one. His lowest ranking was unranked. He's 26 years old. Last year, he was ranked number seven. Uh, so Humphrey pushed for the top five this year after a Pro Bowl campaign in 2022 and a stronger performance than for his standards the previous year. He ranked number two in our 2021 list and is still considered elite. Agree. That's true. Facts. We get it. That's all right. Uh, if you've been involved in the AFC North, you have a deep appreciation for Humphrey's game. An NFL personnel executive said, ultimate competitor and can do a little bit of everything. And yes, 
Uh, Ravens fans have learned that out uh, the hard way because he was drafted as an outside corner. Uh, he was drafted in the days of uh, Brandon Carr and Jimmy Smith and Eric Weddle and them. Um, but then over the years, due to injuries, uh, Tavon Young was, I remember him, he was the Ravens' primary slot cornerback. Uh, but he had dealt with injuries over the years, and then they would kick Marlon Humphrey on the inside a lot. And Marlon Humphrey did really good there. He did really good there. Um, and he's continued to show like the versatility. He does really good as a slot corner. He does really good as an outside corner. He he does a great job of, of both. So Marlon Humphrey has really established himself as one of the better cornerbacks in the NFL. One thing with Marlon Humphrey's game, uh, at least in my opinion, Marlon Humphrey is a very physical cornerback. He's a cornerback that plays the receiver, doesn't play the ball. So if you're looking for a bunch of interceptions, Marlon Humphrey's not your guy. If you're looking for pass breakups, that's your guy. If you're looking for uh, the receiver not to have many completions, Marlon Humphrey is your guy. If you're looking for some forced fumbles every now and then, Marlon Humphrey is your guy. So he plays very physical on the wide receivers. He does not play the ball. That's not his thing. Um, but Marlon Humphrey is a physical corner. I remember his rookie year, rookie year when they first drafted him. Uh, when he remember when he wore number twenty nine? It seems like that's so long ago, right? When he wore number twenty nine, his rookie year when they drafted him, I remember they were playing in the preseason, and I was like, I'm y'all know I don't watch college uh, at all. Um, but one of my guys was telling me about Marlon Humphrey, I'm like, okay, cool. And a lot of the stuff that my guy told me that he's a big Bama fan, all of that stuff still stands. He said Marlon Humphrey very physical, uh, cornerback, not gonna get a lot of interceptions. Um, and he said he has trouble tracking a deep ball sometimes. Um, and he's definitely improved over that over the years. Um, uh, but with Marlon Humphrey in his rookie in a preseason, um, I watched him lay a hit on somebody and I was like, Oh, okay now. This dude physical like that. Like he ain't afraid to tackle because there's some cornerbacks, they could play corner, they could cover, but tackling is not their thing. Marlon with Marlon Humphrey it is. And very physical, not afraid. He'll step up, make that tackle, make that hit. Um, and, and Marlon Humphrey also, what we learned over the years too, uh, with the creative ways that he's been used, he can blitz too. He, he's a he's a good blitzer as well. So they'll have him in the slot sometimes. They'll have him blitz uh, from the outside too sometimes. But they'll they'll switch it up. But he can get it done. So shout out to Marlon Humphrey. But anyway. Um, continuing says Humphrey's three interceptions last year tied for the most in a season for his career. He made his third Pro Bowl in four years and added five pressures and two fumble recoveries. He can flip the field with his ability to pop the ball out with 13 forced fumbles since 2017. So yeah, some 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 nice statistics right there uh, by our guy Marlon Humphrey. But with all that praise that he just got, I guess this executive, whoever it was, oh this scout. <laughs> Um, they say, you know what? No, 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 no. We, we praise him all the Humphrey a little bit too much. We got to bring this guy back down to earth. He said, he holds a lot. <laughs> he holds a lot, but he's a really good player. An AFC scout said So they had to throw in that, that little jab at Marlon Humphrey real quick. But at the same time, it is true. Marlon Humphrey, sometimes Marlon Humphrey, I, I think Marlon Humphrey just uh, an emotional guy. Um, and I think he's a, uh, a feeler. So sometimes he just, he just wants and needs a hug. And sometimes he just wants and needs a hug while they're out there on the field playing. Uh, so he goes and grabs a receiver and he does that. So Marlon Humphrey, I get it, man. Sometimes we all need a hug, uh, but sometimes the timing of those hugs is during the plays and uh, yeah, but anyway, yeah, Marlon Humphrey is still a very, very good corner. And I, I would say an elite corner as well. He's definitely proven himself in this league. Um, he has uh, lived up to being a first round draft pick. He's lived up to the big contract that the Baltimore Ravens gave him a couple years back. And Marlon Humphrey, he's like that, man. He he, he really is like that. Uh, you know what you're going to get from him. Uh, you know, again, there's going to be hiccups, but there's hiccups with every single player. But with Marlon Humphrey, uh, he has established himself as one of the, the best cornerbacks in the league. Oh, let's finish out this top 10 list, though. Uh, number seven uh, is Marshawn Lattimore from the Saints. Uh, number eight is Trayvon Diggs from the Cowboys. Oof, okay. Well, you know he get like a million picks every season, so I think that's why. Number nine. Uh, is Denzel Ward from the Cleveland Browns. And number 10 is A.J. Terrell from the Falcons. So that rounds out the top 10 list. Let's get some honorable mentions in here. Xavier Howard, 
uh, from the Dolphins, J.C. Horn from the Panthers, Tariq Woolen from the Seahawks, Tredavious White from the Bills, and Legereus Sneed from the Chiefs. So, yeah, that would be your list. Um, so, again, y'all know I, I love these lists. I love talking about it. I love hearing the breakdowns, especially about Ravens players, how these people feel about different Ravens players that are on or off these lists. Um, and and it's, a, it's a good time. But anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And until the next list, we out.